What the? Apple cat. What's an apple cat? What's up guys and welcome back to Battle Cats. So since the last episode, I've made quite a bit of progress in chapter two and as expected, it's the exact same as chapter one. It's not even really more difficult. I just sit there in bed spamming Macho Cat over and over and over until they eventually reach the base. So you guys aren't missing out on anything. Like I said, if I'm gonna unlock Valkyrie or beat the moon or something really interesting happens, then I'll be sure to include it in a video. But for today, we're gonna continue with the Heavenly Tower and floor four because this event only lasts another six days, I think, and I really want to get a rare cat capsule out of it. I'm pretty sure we can. I'm not sure how difficult it's gonna get, because we've already seen a black unit for the first time, and an angel unit for the first time, so what could floor four have in store? Why does this always happen? I send out one or two weak little cats to start off the level, and I expect the opponent to put up more of a fight, and then they make their way to the base, and then they go and summon something that I really don't want summoned right now. Everything is fine. It's just a happy slappy bear, and a moth, and a red rhino, and Harambe. Oh my god. Okay, now is the time where I need to remember that you guys have been telling me that I have to be spamming meat shields. Every time one of my cheap cats is off cooldown, I need to send them out. They're gonna be the ones to take the damage. My damage dealers need to not die right now. They cost too much. I think I can do this. I haven't broken the lines yet. Okay, more cats, more cats, more cats, more cats. Fire is it got cannon? That's exactly, that's exactly what we need. Yes, Raiden, get out there. Just gonna shred that cat mausoleum really quick and victory! We get uh, one cat jobs. I really need to figure out what all these items do. I also need to remember to keep up with Gamma Toto. I have been doing that in between episodes. He is now level nine. It's why we have so much cat food. And he's getting a ton of experience. That was 1.5 times. Look at that, he almost got another full level. What did you bring back? Four cat food, okay. And an engineer. I don't think you guys have seen an engineer before. It's an assistant to Cat Base's chief engineer. So he's just gonna run along over there. I already have a bunch of engineers. <laughs> they just show up. I don't know if they're rare or not, but I haven't been able to get any materials yet to upgrade the base. So they're just gonna kind of hang out and then we're gonna send you on another expedition. I need a hundred more cat food to be able to do two 11 draws, but fortunately we do have enough for one because today is the day that we have been waiting for. Today we have a guaranteed Uber with uh, the Twin Stars having joined the Galaxy Gals. So it looks like the event is going on for two more days and I really want to get two tries at it. The guaranteed Ubers don't come along very often, but we're not gonna be able to do two today because I'm 100 cat food short. So I will record another one before the event ends, but for now, let's get ourselves our guaranteed Uber. I really hope we get the new one. Oh, it's been so long since we've done this. This is my favorite part of the game. Even getting other cats, rare cats, super rare cats, it's still great to get new stuff in the game. Okay, right now I'm just gonna hit okay for everything. We got uh, Thief Cat, okay, that one a uh, little bit disappointing. Don't really need more Thief Cat. Whoa, what are you? What is that? Bishop Cat. Okay, we'll have to look into him a little bit. Um. Mur cat. <laughs> that, uh, how does that work around water? Another witch cat. Okay, got, got a couple duplicates so far, but we're gonna pull it together. No, no, we're not. More thief cat. Really don't want any more thief cat. I thought that was gross cat for a minute, but it's not. It's a uh, stilt cat, as you would imagine. I don't know, I should be counting which one we're on because I think the Uber is always the last one. Oh yay, Archer. You guys were telling me he's the worst cat in the game by far. So that's lovely. What the? Apple cat. What's an apple cat? It's a super rare, that's what it is. So I feel really good about that. And I think my next one is my Uber. Nope, not even kind of. It's another super rare, but it's not really one that I care about. What up, hip hop cat? And yes, we got the new one. Oh man, that is so cool, Twin Star. Technically, we had a guaranteed shot at any of the Galaxy Gals, but I really wanted to get this one because I knew it would be an Uber that not many people have seen before. The two pure-hearted sisters, Cece and Coma. 
Divine Breath controls their mighty mecha claws, massive area damage to aliens, and black. That seems really good. Are they like super expensive or something like that? I'm curious how much they cost to use. Nope, they only cost 3,900, a thousand less than Raiden. And I really like Raiden, don't get me wrong, I think he's super strong, but she sounds like she's good against some of the hardest types of units in the game. So I'm definitely happy we got her, that's awesome. And now for everything else that I have in storage, I don't really know what I wanna do with most of this stuff. Like right now, I can exchange Thief Cat for 112,000 experience? That's a lot, right? You guys are gonna have to tell me which cats I should be getting rid of and which ones I should keep. I definitely wanna keep Apple Cat. No, I, actually, yeah, we can use Shaman Cat as well because I have Shaman Cat as Necromancer Cat, so we can make him 11. That's pretty good. And then Apple Cat, can you get out from behind the other weird ones? There we go. Okay, we'll use Apple Cat because I believe I've heard that he's also a good one. What's he all about? Apple Cat found a giant apple floating in a river. There's the cat, I thought it was just little tiny legs. Decided to use that as a costume, might stop red enemies. Okay, so he's another anti-red, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. I think he's very cheap, and that's why he's so effective. I'm not totally sure, either way, red units aren't really an issue right now. I wanna continue with the Heavenly Tower, because there's only six days left for the event, and I really wanna try to get either more cat food or a rare ticket out of it. We're getting up there, floor five. Am I ready for this right now? Uh, yeah, you know what, screw it, we'll give it a try. What's the worst that could happen, right? We skimmed by last time. Are you gonna give me time to upgrade now? I'm not sending out any cats this time. Background's getting real fancy. Okay, we'll send out one wall cat just to stop Mr. Gator. Okay, yeah, we, uh, we can hold down the fort with some walls and just upgrade. I wanna take my time with this. Uh, what is that? Why is that one teal colored? Oh, crap, crap, crap. I think that one's an alien, right? What's strong about aliens? I don't know. Are they just more powerful? They seem really powerful. Okay, maybe I can save up. I only need, I only need like 900 more to get out Twinster and she's really good against that. Please, please, come on, sexy legs, you can do it, yes! There we go, she's out, she's there. Suck it, aliens, and then we can start meat shielding. She's so freaking cool, her range is huge! It being an area of effect attack is, whoa, okay. That's an angry shrimp? We should fire at that, right? Why is it get cannon, kill the angry shrimp? Oh, I'm really happy I have an anti-alien Uber right now. Please, please kill that thing. The, the music got really intense, too. I've never even seen that kind of creature before, nonetheless an alien version of it. Ooh, ooh, we stopped it. Yeah! Way to go, Twin Stars! Is, is that everything? Is the intense music gonna die with the bass? I sure hope so. We have a lot of cats out there right now. <laughs> I think we're in the clear. Please tell me we're in the clear. Oh, we got uh, some more penguins and stuff. I don't care about penguins. Penguins will die easily enough. Ooh, again, that was really cool. Oh, cat ticket? Oh, I think that's a regular cat ticket. I was gonna say, this, like we're seeing all new units we haven't seen in the regular campaign yet. And that's the biggest thing. I wanna keep seeing new stuff in the game. Okay, we got a regular cat capsule. We'll give that a spin. I could use an upgrade for Titan cat. It'd be pretty sweet. Oh yeah, luck is on my side today. I like it. We're gonna use that. Titan Cat can now be, uh, Mythical Titan Cat can now be number 11. Sweet. I'm curious how much experience she's gonna need to evolve, because usually they're a lot, a lot, a lot, right? Yeah, we got her up to level seven. People have been asking why I'm not using Marauder Cat. He's not particularly good. He costs a lot. He's good against metal units, which we've never seen before. And then other than that, he's, he's not particularly useful. So I'm happy to have him still. We'll have him in our back pocket just in case we run into some metal units. But for now, hopefully I can get a little bit more experience and we can evolve Twin Star sooner rather than later. I think the Heavenly Tower is getting pretty expensive too. We're up to, uh, yeah, 80 energy. Oh, really don't want to lose, but we got we got to give it a try. I'm liking the fact that it's actually challenging. And uh, now we're in a dungeon, okay, and we got uh, red rabbits coming at us. Get out of here, red rabbits. 
Lots of red coming our way. Okay, no, that's fine. We have a lot of good anti-red in Master Sword Cat. His fiery backflip seemed to do a ton of damage to them. He has such a crazy attack rate, too. He does a backflip like every other second. <laughs> he just clears out the way. He's one of my favorite evolved cats so far. He's so freaking useful. We're getting quite a lot of money here as well. I'm gonna spend it all on upgrading. I would imagine there, there has to be some kind of crazy boss in there, right? I'm just gonna keep spamming tanks, saving up money if we need to send out the appropriate Uber or maybe a Titan. Mm, yeah, you know what? Let's send out a Titan. I feel like he's just gonna be all around good. Knock knock is what? Why does the pig have a crown? Why is he catch cannon? Oh crap, oh crap, that's a metal unit. I just said that we haven't run into a metal unit yet. <laughs> I'm gonna save up. I need to get Raiden out there. It's the only thing that I'm gonna be able to knock back that giant red boss with. There we go, okay, he's out now. We can spam some shields. We got a bunch of kitty titties heading out there. I, I think that metal unit is gonna be more of a pain in the butt than anything else, right? Because I think you can only take them down with critical attacks. And then we take one damage for every regular attack. We don't have any critical damage dealers, which is not good. Raiden's doing a great job pushing them back. Okay, there we go. That's great. We killed, uh, see, the metal ones just don't care. <laughs> we killed all the red ones, though. It's a start. I think the strategy now is just to keep spamming meat shields and make sure it doesn't move forward at all, because if we're at parity, they should eventually die. There we go, that's what I like to see. Let's send out another Titan. Ooh, okay. So, was that, that wasn't a, was that a boss? It has to have been a boss, he had a crown. I feel like usually a boss comes out when the base is lower than half, but we're already past that and we're doing all right. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna fire the cat cannon in victory. It didn't even go off. <laughs> and we got a catamin. Oh, those are the things that you use for, um, Gamatoto. Okay, well, I haven't had one of those before. And I think that's, uh, that's it for my energy for today. Heavenly Tower is pretty freaking expensive. Hold on, what's this? Cat ticket chance? I don't have 250 and I also can't beat hard levels. All right, that's cool. Maybe there's something here that we can do. What about the crazed fish? 200. Nope, this this entire thing seems to not be for, no, it's not for me. Well, we do have a little bit of energy left and people were telling me in the comments last episode to check out an outbreak. I'm pretty sure that the way that it works is one random level, yeah, where's where's the outbreak? It's not telling me. If I just scroll through the world, I can find it. It, it. I think it's a zombie outbreak, right? So I should be able to face off against zombie units. Well, yeah, the Philippines, which we've never seen before. It only costs 10. I'll give it a try. I don't have any anti-zombie equipped. I probably should have done that first, but screw it. Ooh, spoopy. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Little zombie doggo and snake and alligator. Oh man, they look really good. All right, let's send out some random units to see how they fare. I don't know what it is that they do exactly. What, where'd, where'd they go? What? What's happening right now? They just disappeared. Oh, okay. Oh, they can get behind your units? That's cheesy, they're hitting my base. That is, that is super cheesy. They can go underneath your stuff and then just wreck your base. Okay. That's, that's good to know. Well, I'm not sure how much help we're gonna get because the only anti-zombie cat I have is Welterweight Cat, successor to a legendary Japanese boxer, looks the part, but he's always KO'd in the second round. Might knock back zombies. Okay, I'll take a might, I suppose. I'm pretty sure he's relatively cheap as well. We can probably toss him in over Raiden, honestly. I don't think we're ever gonna have enough to send him out. Bring it on, Filipino zombies. We have uh, the Japanese boxing cat. It only cost 360, which is actually pretty decent. I should probably try to get them out as soon as possible and spam them whenever I can. Get in there, boxing kitty. I wanna try to get up to them as soon as possible because then they should go under and I guess come out over here somewhere. I should be like spacing out my units a little bit, shouldn't I? If I do something like this, just a few at a time, then I'm gonna get run over really freaking quickly. Yeah, uh, shouldn't you guys be maybe knocking them back or something like that? <laughs> I feel like you're not knocking them back right now. I feel like this isn't working right now. Oh God, no, they're hitting the base again. 
<laughs> Freaking zombies, man. Why are they? Oh, God, they're so strong. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess they're just too fast, too strong. I don't even know what I need to do to change this. I have one final last ditch attempt. What I'm gonna do is save up $500 right away, and then we're gonna send out Cowcat, who is super fast. I don't care if he dies or not, but he should be able to reach all the way up to them and then make them go underground, right? So he's gonna make them go underground and then they shouldn't go underground again. Yeah, they'll come out and then face all my actual cats who will then fight them. So now they won't go underneath some and hopefully my entire force will now face off against them. Hopefully is uh, definitely wishful thinking considering they're one-shotting most of my stuff. <laughs> Guys, you're getting knocked back way too easily here. You gotta stand up to them. You gotta not let them near the face. I wanna get more my knockout cats. No, 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 no. This is not going according to plan, I feel like. <laughs> Mostly because they're hitting my base. Usually when they're hitting my base, it's not going according to plan. I cannot beat the outbreak yet. I concede. We will return to chapter one in the zombie outbreak at some point. I definitely don't want to let them get away that easy, but right now I'm dreadfully under-equipped. I want to try out the Cat Claw Dojo before we end the episode because that's something that I unlocked a little while ago and never actually looked into. As far as the description told me, we can go to the Hall of Initiates and then, yeah, for zero energy, I think we just have to face off against a wave of enemies and last for as long as possible. I think my loadout should be all right for that. In reality, it doesn't cost me anything, so I guess we could just try as many times as we want. Oh, we got some Cat Claw Dojo explosions. What was that? Was that you, Mr. Fox Squirrel? Oh, wait, I should probably send something else so you don't hit my base. <laughs> I was expecting him to answer for some reason. With their terrifying little mouths, I would kind of hope for an answer, but I guess they're just gonna get beaten down by Macho Cat? That seems, whoa, whoa, what? How is that fair? The base can just, oh, you know what? I probably can't kill the base. It doesn't have any health. If I get too close to it, it's gonna beat down my units. And we have a timer. We have to last uh, another four minutes. Okay, so don't go anywhere near the base. Easy enough. I haven't really bothered sending out anything else. I just wanted to use them because they're so freaking cute. And I'm now realizing that they have a triple attack. They slam down, they kick, and then they up punch which is pretty freaking sweet. We can send Raiden out there as well. Are you guys gonna get one-shotted by the base? I'm just sitting here on a ton of money because it's not really doing anything, but I would assume that it's gonna one-shot my Ubers. <laughs> I kind of want to see that, to be honest. Now would be a good time to actually start sending out some units because they're sending out a lot of stuff. Maybe fire the cat cannon. That's definitely a good idea as well. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a breeze the entire way through, but there's black units, there's red rhinos, there's a floating head. So the boss from the moon is here already. So we should definitely stack up some meat shield. This is a cool level. <laughs> I like this. this. There's a whole lot of stuff going on right now. We're just uh, keeping him frozen. Way to go, Necromancer Cat. You're really definitely pulling your weight here. Oh, I hate it when he bites down and kills all my stuff. Come on, guys, yes, there you go. Kill the giant stupid head that didn't give me any money? What? Doesn't he normally give you like a couple thousand? Oh, I don't get it. Yeah, we can hit the base. I assume that if you get anywhere near it, it would whack you, but it looks like it's just kind of periodical. So we're doing all right. We could just keep stacking cats up right against the base, I guess. It's gonna keep smacking them down, but we only have 18 seconds left. Whoa, okay. Uh, maybe don't count your chickens, but right yet. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of black doggos coming for my base. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay. I feel like we might've been saved by the bell, but we got there. So a score of about a little over 25,000. I'm curious how I would've gotten a better score there. I guess if I kill all the dogs because I lasted the entire time. Either way, the Cat Claw Dojo is pretty cool. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And I probably won't get another episode up in the next few days, but I'll definitely record one because I wanna use this guaranteed Uber event as much as I can. We only need 70, yeah, about 68 more cat food. So I'll get that by spamming ads over the next day or so. And then we'll return and do another 11 drop next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Yeah.